What's going on YouTube and today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak your iPhone 4, 3GS, iPod Touch 3G and 4G and your iPad 1 running iOS 5.1. Uh, this is not compatible with any A5 chip devices such as the iPhone 4S and the iPad 2. Uh, in this video we're going to be using Snowberry's version 2.9.2. Uh, this is for Windows but you can also get Red Snow for Mac and for Windows and I will have a download link to the all of the uh, software is in the description down below. Uh, so Snowbreeze and Red Snow are basically exactly the same process. Um, they basically just give you a tethered jailbreak uh, for those devices that are already listed apart from the iPhone 3GS uh, old boot ROM which is untethered. So once you've downloaded it, uh, you want to open up the Red Snow or um, Red Snow file or Snowbreeze file sorry. And on Windows you want to right click and run as administrator. So here it is, version uh, 2.9.2 of Snowbreeze for uh, iOS 3.1.3, 3.2, and all of those devices, uh, software there, and 5.1. Uh, it is also a tether jailbreak for 5.1, but apart from the uh, iPhone 3GS old boot ROM, it is a untethered. So we want to click next and search for our IPSW, which I have located in my downloads. Just click open. And now I'm going to click on New Boot ROM, click Next, and here you have i fate Mode, uh, Simple Mode, um, Expert Mode, and Baseband pre Preservation Mode. Uh, the main one that I click on would be Simple because it just basically gets to um, making the custom IPSW, but the Baseband uh, Preservation Mode basically just keeps the baseband that you're on at the minute on your iPhone or iPad. So you can uh, click simple mode or export mode, whichever one you would like to. So I'm going to click simple mode, and I'm just going to wait for the uh, IPSW to be created. So while I do that, I'm going to pause the video right here and come back when the process is done. Now the building of the jailbroken IPSW is done. Click OK here. And now this is where you're going to put your device into DFU mode. Uh, this is just basically device firmware upgrade mode. So you want to power off your device first. And I'm just going to do that. Then you want to click start once your device has successfully turned off. Hold down the home and power button for 1, 2, go. You want to hold it down for 10 seconds, the home and power and then you want to hold the home button and release the power button for another 30 seconds until uh, Snowbridge recognizes your device in DFU mode so you are now want to let go of uh, the home button uh, iTunes has detected the iPhone in recovery mode this is good so just click OK and go back to iRev as you can see it says it's running nearly done and then it says now your device is now in Pwn DFU mode click OK now that has successfully worked now you want to go into iTunes and hold down uh, restore and shift and then you are want to go look for your uh, custom Snowbreeze 5.1 firmware click open click restore and now you are going to restore to a jailbroken uh, IPSW so iTunes is just going to uh, take us the way to the jailbroken state and I'll come back once iTunes has successfully uh, installed Cydia and all that good stuff onto my iPhone 3GS. My device has now been restored to 5.1 uh, and it is now in the jailbroken state but I have Cydia and it crashes as you can see so I am going to connect my iPhone to the computer again and I will show you how to uh, boot back up and make Cydia work on your device using iBooty for uh, Snowbreeze or if you have Red Snow you can simply uh, click the Just Boot Tethered option so let's go so we want to open up iBooty uh, version 2.3 and connect your iPhone to the computer and I have an iPhone 3GS so we're just going to click start here and we're going to put our device back into DFU mode so we're going to hold the home and power 
together for 10 seconds and then release the power button but continue holding the home button for another 30 seconds. So release the power button and keep holding the home until it tells you to let go. Okay, we now have a iPhone in recovery mode uh, and it's just exploiting with lime rain and it's just doing all of its necessary things and our iPhone is now booting back up so we can close out of iBooty and close out of iTunes so we're just going to go back to the iPhone and I'll bring you the rest of the process there my iPhone has now booted back up so we're just going to slide to unlock and we have our city up here and it now opens it's going to prepare our file system and ask us to connect to a wireless network so uh, I am now jailbroken with Cydia on my iPhone 3GS running 5.1 so this is where uh, I say goodbye to you guys this was a very monotonous uh, task to jailbreak our device but nonetheless we now have a jailbroken iPhone 3GS on 5.1 so if you guys have any problems with this, please comment down below on what problems you have. And if you like this video, please, of course, click the like button down below and subscribe up above for more videos like this. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.